Welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day for today, the 3rd of Jan 2024. Mike Smith, seen analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Looking across the news, of course, we saw the Dow trade just above neutral overnight, but outside of that, it was a generally disappointing start to the year. The Nasdaq would perform with the biggest one day drop since October. Can be attributed to a rise in bond yields, and of course, we had some soft PMI data as well. A little bit of a rotation into defensive stocks kept the Dow in positive territory. That's worth noting for the future days. Of course, we do have some significant data out later this week as well. US futures trading around about neutral in Asian trading and Asian markets generally following that weak US lead. ASX is pulling back from near two-year highs and is down 8% in trading so far today. All sectors are weak with the exception of staple stocks, which have eked into positive territory as a sector. European futures are pointing to a slightly lower open this afternoon. US dollar index, not surprisingly, responded to that rise in bond yields, uh, continues to bounce off five-month lows. And as a result, gold pulled back from 2075 all-time highs, sitting around 2060 at this stage, but not looking particularly interested in moving back higher, although we did have an initial tick upwards in early Asian trading. Copper also looked under a little pressure, pulling back to the mid-December level, and oil was weak, reaching the short-term range on the WTI contract and may well test lows that we hit a few weeks ago. Bitcoin was an old, uh, a different story in that it closed over that key 45,000 level for the first time since April and looks very buoyant. More buying coming in in Asian trading today. In terms of data, we've got German jobs this afternoon and then in the US tonight, we've got manufacturing numbers, we've got the EIA report, which may impact on oil price and possibly the major market move will be the FOMC minutes just to see whether there's any more detail about the telegraphing of rate cuts that they made in their last meeting. Let's have a look at a couple of charts at Coral Ride today. Uh, we'll start in the FX market, and the Aussie yen is trading within an interesting range you can see there. Really, we are testing yesterday's lows, which happened on open. Same again today. So around about that 95.86 level looks really important technically at this stage. Possible move down of around about 40 to 45 pips. If we just put this on a longer time frame, you can see the reason why this level looks important. Last time we breached it, you can see we made it down there to 95.40 and it was resistance both in this price action here and here back in mid-December. So one to watch during the course of the next few hours. If we look at the ASX, where there is slim pickings, we can see AWC is retesting this level around about 93 cents. We like this up to a dollar should we get a breach. And it's had multiple attempts over the last couple of weeks of trading days to breach that. So a level worth keeping an eye on checking on this in the last hour to make sure it has moved higher. And as I said, initial stop possibly on back underneath this level and a move up to Certainly $1 or maybe even 110 in the medium term could be on the cards. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.